Good morning, students, parents, and all of you, my dear friends who are watching. This important event that we are commemorating today, and of course, our independence. I am sure that we, our spirit is excited as we think on this very important occasion that we honor and celebrate, which is part of our history, our Independence Day. For many Belizeans, the 21st of September serves as a day to watch fireworks, watch the parades, have a good time with friends and family, and many other things. But of course, these past years, it has been a lot different. There's nothing wrong to celebrate and to honor and to commemorate this event, which is part of our history. But it is very important to remember the reason why we celebrate this important event in our history. We have our own, our own history and we honor those who fought, struggled and died for our independence. We are a unique nation. We have our own history and we honor our past but in the midst of this celebration it is very important to remember what our duties are as Christians we as citizens of this world if we are citizens also of the kingdom of God then we ought to think how are we called to celebrate this important event? We are called to serve Jesus Christ in our lives. And it is such a blessing that we can live in a country where we have the freedom to be able to honor our Lord Jesus Christ. What a blessing to be living in a country, in an independent country, where we can honor the one who had given us our independence because the history of this nation is under the story of God under the under his story so my dear students teachers and friends parents as we celebrate the 24th of September let us not be distracted to what's supposed to be our main focus as we see and as we celebrate this event it's not necessarily about the great men and the great women who help us to achieve this this important event in the life of our country it's about what God has done for Belize it's what God has led great men to do awesome things and to grant us this important day. But let us not lose sight of the true meaning of what is independence. Because it is dangerous if we put aside our God, who is the one who controls the history of this world, the history of our nation. To enjoy freedom and peace in Belize is a blessing from God. And our country believes we have been blessed. And like this passage that I'm going to read says, Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. That we take it from James chapter 1, verse 17. It means, my dear students, teachers, parents, and friends. God has given us many blessings. Nothing bad comes from Him. 
all the things that we are enjoying, the opportunity to live in a land of freedom by the Caribbean Sea is so much of a blessing that comes from above. So we need to praise God for that. And let us praise Him for the freedom, the opportunity to serve Him in a land called Belize. But let's be watchful. Let us not allow this independence to be led into an independence from God. We were never in, intended to be independent from Him or His ways. God created us to depend on Him, to find our fulfillment in Him, to find the strength that we need, the courage that we need, even in these difficult times that our country is facing. So as we celebrate our independence, let us look ourselves that we need to be in the we need to be dependent from God. So with this in mind, I encourage you not to lose sight of why we celebrate independence. It's about what God has been doing in the story for our country. So let us not take God out of the story for our country. Let us reflect on the ways how God has blessed us how he has blessed our lives and let's make it a goal to not take the freedom we have for granted as you and i celebrate our independence at home let us be encouraged to celebrate the blessing of the freedom that god has given us also through jesus christ yes it's a good thing to be free to honor those who fought and struggled for a country to be an independent one but let us honor the one who has been behind the history of our country and who has a purpose for every single Belizean living in this land let us be thankful for the many blessings he has poured of our, on our country for protecting us from natural disaster for providing for our needs for giving us a beautiful paradise called Belize. So let's honor him. Let us have him in the midst of everything we are doing. Let our lives bring honor to him as citizens of this beautiful country. Let's thank him for the freedom that we have, but also the opportunity to know him and let us honor him. Happy independence to all of you. And may the Lord continue pouring blessings and from heaven upon this wonderful country. May the Lord bless you and keep you strong as we move forward. And knowing that we have a God whose gifts from heaven is poured upon this land and upon his people. May the Lord bless you. May you have a wonderful independence day. Thank you.